Good morning and welcome to episode 2 of Cougar TV. I'm Alex Johnson. And I'm Sam Strait. I hope all you Cougars are enjoying your homecoming week. Every day holds a new event from football games to spirit days to parades. Homecoming week means that the homecoming parade is on its way. Yeah, well, uh, through a lot of fundraising and dances, such as the color dance that we did at the beginning of the year, we have raised a lot of money and not spent very much. And uh, just like through little donations at the concession stands, we've managed to pull through as we usually do. should expect what they normally do, a fun parade every year in the west side with uh, all of Coronado's clubs and activities and sports and really just everything that represents the west side. Should be fun. It is on Old Colorado Avenue uh, Saturday, September 16th at 10 o'clock in the morning. Yes, bring everybody you possibly can. It should be fun. The more people, the better. You heard it from here, Cougars. The parade lives on. Join your fellow classmates and teachers at the Homecoming Parade this Saturday, September 16th, from 10 a.m. until 12 p.m. in Old Colorado City. Mr. Urban, coordinator for Cougars Care, wants to make sure that everyone at Coronado knows about this organization. It can help students with fees, food, school supplies, clothing, and other necessities. Cougars Care can help with all of these things, so contact Mr. Urban for more info or visit CoronadoCougarsCare.com. In a humanitarian effort to help the Texas victims of Hurricane Harvey, Coronado is taking on the Sock It To Em Sock campaign. The collection starts today and runs through September 29th. Bring any kind of new socks to Miss Hayfley in room 254. Socks will be collected by team color and the winning team will go get to pie Miss Hayfley in the face. Now, here's Sam with sports. Boys soccer beat Vanguard 4-1. Boys tennis beat Liberty 7-0. Volleyball beat Rampart 3-1. Softball lost to Liberty 15-6. And football lost to Skyline 70-50. Our men's soccer team has undergone some changes since their last season. Let's take a look at what they've been up to on the pitch. I've been playing soccer since I was seven years old. And for Coronado, I've been playing since my sophomore year. Um, I would definitely encourage people to come out and um, come play with us. Our teams are still small, so we're still looking for as many players as we can possibly get. And um, we'd love to have a student section during our game, so I'd also encourage a lot of the students here to go out to our games and support us. So the season kind of started off to a bumpy start. We lost our first two games, and um, our last two games we have beat um, both the schools we've played. Um, the team chemistry has been getting a lot better, especially with um, the lower classmen and the upper classmen kind of getting used to each other. And uh, the new varsity players um, that bumped up from JV getting used to playing with the upper class, with the old varsity players. And um, our hopes are hopefully to make it to the playoffs, but if we can't get that far, which I'm pretty sure we can, um, it's to get as many wins as we possibly can. We did a lot of off-season work, some conditioning. We were getting up at 7 a.m. every day for a few weeks, meeting over at Holmes and getting ready for the season. And, you know, it's, it's really starting to pay off. We had a slow start to the season, but we've won our last two, and we're hoping to keep that momentum going. So for this year's leadership, we have three captains on our varsity team, which are Colin Shepard, Edwin Hernandez, and I. And um, all the upperclassmen, they really, they're helping out a lot for the freshmen and the sophomores. They're kind of helping them get into the groove of things, getting to know the rest of the team, and making them feel comfortable on and off the pitch. So for this season, we've, been, um, we've really been working on our shape on and off the field. 
Um, our new coach, um, Coach Eddie, he's really been helping us um, play our positions correctly and uh, getting us back into shape for the coming season. Our men's soccer players are pounding the pavement, going hard to make sure this season is the best it can be. Make sure to go and support them. Let's go Cougars! Coronado High School has many talented students with a vast variety of skills. Sophie Urban is one of those students. Let's see what she's all about. My name is Sophie Urban. My mom played trumpet, and so when I was really little, I would just go play her trumpet for fun. And I really enjoyed it, so I just kept going. As a musician, I play in youth symphony, and I play at school, and I play for people, and I entertain them. I sing in choir, and play piano, play trumpet. That was some beautiful music. She's one incredible musician. Well, that wraps up episode two of Cougar TV. I'm Sam Strait. And I'm Alex Johnson. Join us next week to find out what's happening in your hallways. Stay classy. C-O, C-O-R-O. C-O-R-O-N-A-D. Coronado, Coronado, Coronado. Coronado.